and it's insta live time usually it's a friday that's my day as a, a representative of the brand called the wedding school um but unfortunately today i've had to change the day to a thursday um uh, because uh, of something very critical that's getting lined up for tomorrow but nonetheless every day is a special day as long as i get an opportunity to chat up with you all uh to tell you guys what the wedding school is up to and uh to catch up with uh, what's on your mind so big hello to everyone who's joining me on my insta live i'm marisha ceo at the wedding school and a shout out to all our fantastic students who are doing superbly well in the indian wedding industry uh those who are really going out of their you know comfort zone to make sure that they are achieving their dreams their goals aspirations and they are not disappointing us considering the amount of time that has gone into training everyone and making the most out of every single moment that they've spent with us as a school as an institute um i'm particularly excited because uh, we are continuing our series of uh, TWS theater of dreams where we draw parallels between uh the big screen the movies the movie making process um the entertainment angle that's required to engage an audience when you make a film uh versus weddings which is as much about making uh a film hit you want your wedding to become super hit uh you want to ha- have that en- entire extra glam vibe uh in the most subtle way uh you want to make sure that people talk about your wedding after the wedding and uh, i know of how much today's brides love appreciation a love recognition love uh being the stars uh how many of my brides actually want that their wedding gets covered by different portals um it's a reality and i i like it i mean why not if there's something fantastic that's been done uh one should and always crave for uh appreciation acceptance and i'm i'm one who really has never shied away from that myself as a person i have although never gone out of my way to get that appreciation and acceptance uh but i've surely made sure that uh every bit of work that i do whether it's as swaha or it's not in key or stws the end goal is to inspire someone somewhere uh that's like an undertone to all the work that i do and i think uh, very importantly it is also about getting appreciation and recognition who doesn't like that so um, that's really what it is we are looking at today in our uh, next of many series drawing an entire comparison uh, between destination management companies dmcs as we like uh, to call them for a quick short form um and drawing parallels to a location scouting company which has become a very very integral part to movie making as a process um i'm waving back to everyone and and i hope you've got my wishes come through insta and um akshita is here she's writing i'm excited to join the school in july looking forward i'm looking forward to this one too akshita and uh, i'll say good decision good decision good decision <laughs> and you're going to love the process uh, you're going to love uh, the faculty that's going to come and you're going to love the team you're going to superbly love the tribe the students with whom you're going to study it's a relationship for a lifetime that i can promise you and uh, yeah i'm looking forward to meeting you on screen and possibly physically as well when as and when uh, that happens um waving back to everyone again uh so yes today we're talking about destination management companies and drawing parallels to the location scouting now because we have been discussing about how movies are inspired from weddings and weddings are inspired from movies when we look at the people who are the behind the scene uh uh you know whether it's a wedding or it's a movie you will realize that there are again so many commonalities that kind of come through and for me the most exciting part about starting wedding planning on any uh, particular project 
starts with the whole idea of finding a new destination or possibly trying to find a new property where somebody can get married and so is the case uh, where a lot of wedding planners in india specifically have to get into that space whereas internationally that's largely the work of a destination management company whether it comes uh, from the entire idea of uh scouting for hotels possible destinations then getting into hotels then looking at closing the deals to get it in benefit of the client then of course the local logistics and uh, every bit of local assistance that one can require when they go in for a destination wedding so um that becomes a very very important part and um i i have to give this to my partner who's always believed that sab khud mat karo you know just to save two pennies uh make sure you are partnering with the right people in the right location for a good back end support uh for somebody whom you can rely on because when you are doing international destination weddings you are genuinely constantly working with strangers with the uh it's a land of the unknown um and it is best if you have a bit of local support that you have already chalked out for yourself and for us that mostly comes in the form of a destination management company one may take references and have some friends friends connect and all of that but at the end kaam karna hota hai aur agar aapko kisi se kaam karwana hai to usse izzat ke sath commercially involve karke kare it's no point trying to get freebies because you are a friend's friend and thus taking references and getting your work done i know so many people who opt for that path which is not exactly a fair thing to do I think every bit of data that I may have today should be uh, valued at at a price. Every relation that I've built over these twenty three years, uh, yes, it's been twenty three years that I've been around. Uh, so <laughs> that that has to and has to be valued. And um, I I've never enjoyed when people take that space for granted. and i'm sure this is exactly what your location scouting team goes through because they may have done a recce for a particular tvc or an ott show or for a tv serial or a movie for that matter there are so many times they go through an entire process just like weddings where we go through multiple hotels we travel to several destinations before the client and a planner zeros down that okay this is the place where we are going to do the wedding uh similarly it happens in uh, shoots where you go through several locations um experience the same location in different weathers mind you that's a very interesting part which is not exactly common to weddings um but that's a part i would love to do <laughs> where you actually go to the same location in different um weathers to understand because a lot of it depends on the storyline a lot of it does gets dependent on daylight and the angles and what that location can bring out in terms of adding to the characteristic uh of that scene making that scene look more intense and gory if that's required or bring in a a bit of a, a happy vibe where required um there are so many times when you have to go back to a say, a, a location to finish something in continuity because it was not done right or the director wants a different cut there are so many times when so many things need to be redone as well today it is more systematic but there is always the not so satisfied director who may want to reshoot a certain chunk and thus there is that entire drill where the location scouting company the team needs to be up on their feet have multiple options uh which get explored by the way with an entire crew it is not just about me finding multiple locations and coming back and telling the director this is what we do there's a lot of back and forth uh that goes through before the process begins and while they're in the process um I personally find that a very very exciting part. Uh I want you guys to also share your opinion today. Uh since I got a lot of uh messages after the last live on uh, on on my WhatsApp uh, sharing an opinion about some film. We were talking about movies last time 
And so many of them ended up sharing their opinion on WhatsApp. And I was like, why didn't you just say it while I was chatting? So tell me any one destination that you would love to probably get married in or recommend to pro probably a friend or a client a uh, location that you think would do great for pre-wedding. I really find that space so exciting. I wish I was a cinematographer uh, because there are so many locations that I go to and I can visualize what a couple should be doing over here. Um, I would have loved to explore that side, you know, uh, in probably Agle Janam. <laughs> but uh, that's an exciting space for me. So write back to me about any location or any destination that has excited you, any hotel property that you come across, which you've really liked. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, there was, I remember there was a very interesting uh, show that uh, I had watched. I'm forgetting the name of this. It was uh, on one of these ODD platforms, uh, which had uh, Soha Ali and Kriti Kamran and uh, Lara Datta in it. And I think there was one more character. I think it was about four sisters and them having to do some tasks uh, in order to inherit, uh, you know, certain property. And I love the location where that was shot. It was, I, I'm assuming somewhere in Rajasthan. It had royalty uh, from, from episode one to last. And I, I was so envious of the fact that, you know, you can... Uh, Cyrus, a very dear friend of mine, was also starring in that show. And I actually watched it for him. Uh, we had just finished his wedding. And I think in two months, the show was out. So I, I actually watched it because I really love him. And uh, um, I, I do feel envious uh, when I see these kind of shoots. And I, I don't get carried away by the story. But I actually go deep diving into where they went and how they would have shot this scene and how did they find this place to begin with. So uh, Mayank is writing, I'm a BCom dropout, don't have any background in event management. Can I do the course? Yes, Mayank, you can do the course. We do have somebody um, of a similar profile who I think dropped out after 12th, after giving their 12th, they discontinued their uh, uh, regular college and uh, enrolled for the course and uh, also went on to freelance. Um, that's one thing, Mayang, that I would suggest is even if you're enrolling for the course, I would really suggest you take up the internship program, which we have, um, especially because you are a dropout. You don't want to go through that entire exercise of uh, kind of having to discuss that uh, and making that the highlight of your interview. Uh, rather be seen for what you can bring on board as a young blood who understands wedding management, who does not need to be taught weddings and, and execution on job, but somebody who is learning that and coming on board. So I really recommend the hybrid course for someone like you, Mayank. And a dropout is not a taboo anymore. Uh, plus, what you have studied in BCom and BA has very little uh, to do with what we teach in wedding management or design decor. So uh, you're not going to miss out on ha not having completed your graduation. Um, but uh, irrespective, study something further. Don't just uh, limit yourself and, and always keep growing. Uh, and I think education is the best way for one to really, you know, take a certain path ahead. Whether it's this course or some other course, you must, must study. Uh, waving back to everyone, guys, write back to me. If there's one destination or location that has excited you. Um, Akshita is writing. Jaisalmer, oh yes. Uh, Pooja is writing Dubai. So for me, Jaisalmer uh, was, was one interesting place where I actually came to know about this uh, location years back when my sister was a model and uh, she was a Miss India and she had an opportunity to uh, shoot a music video. I'm talking about late 90s, early, early 2000 when music videos were a big deal and they would have the budgets of, of a movie. And it was a Pankaj Udas uh, video that she had to shoot and she was playing a princess and, uh, uh, you know, and there was a prince and there was a messenger and the prince falls in love with the messenger instead of the princess and all of that drama. And this was shot in Jaisalmer. Uh, it was a palace right in the midst of the desert. And I think uh, for me, 
connectivity would be my only issue i feel uh, that you know we in living in certain cities still have an advantage to reach a place in in a stipulated time frame and i think india as a destination hub for weddings has so many varied options from uh, beaches to forts uh, to uh, the you know palaces in the desert uh, to business hotels there are so many people who don't like the ethereal vibe and they want to go with something more buzzing we have those we have resorts uh, we have all kinds of weather uh, across india i feel if we could just get our game up on on grounds of travel and infrastructure which is already taking place i think 5 years from now we will have far more um interesting opportunities and several more international uh, uh you know uh, people coming down to india to get married so far we've only had celebrities who come to rajasthan get married and disappear but i think um you know the common man uh, staying in in uh, you know say in in europe or staying in saudi might just decide to explore india as a destination because of the kind of uh, content that's out there for people to consume uh, via instagram so i find uh, jaisalmer interesting i just wish the connectivity just gets better over time so that more and more people can actually explore it for uh, weddings and social events um there's a certain mystery to it there is a certain vibe where you feel it's it's a land where you can explore or you can also disappear <laughs> in the middle of nowhere i like that i like that vibe uh, of the place pooja is saying dubai i love dubai and i don't know why but i have always always felt that dubai has a different energy altogether it requires a different expense also altogether which cannot be justified and so many of our clients is don't understand they like dubai 3 ghanta dur hai phir bhi itna mehanga i have never understood what's the correlation between getting to a destination and the price that you pay for everything that you enjoy at that destination dubai is unapologetic about being expensive and um i like the place because it's always buzzing i i like that vibe i also love the place because of that entire stretch of uh, dubai palms where you can have your you know corporate events you have your um socials mice weddings all kinds of events that can be done there away from the shopping experience but yet there is a certain sense of being in dubai which i really like so puja good choice um for uh, in fact i think there are a lot of places around dubai as well where one can go for interesting shoots um and uh, there are some beautiful properties where uh, you can actually explore you know dubai and and places around in middle east i think they do a fantastic job in terms of the properties that they develop uh, the resorts are not regular resorts um there is a story there's character to it there is variation uh, from one resort to the other so we travel on a lot of fam trips where uh it's either hosted by a hotel or by tourism board so when it's done by a tourism board we usually get to travel to multiple hotels within a city and you will see even places like bahrain uh abu dhabi you will always find a lot of variation within a city it's not like one is a replica of the other uh so they don't draw inspiration from their neighbors they want to look different so that if they are not able to attract type a kind of client type b kind of client comes to them and that's what i really like about uh you know the uniqueness that each of these properties have roshan has replied thailand interesting choice Phuket, Krabi, Samui, Bangkok. Bangkok, though I have stopped relating to. While that was my favorite when I was a much younger person, um, uh, making decent money, but having to travel on corporate shows. And <laughs> everyone who was in the event space in early two thousands, you know what I'm talking about. Obsession. with bangkok and pattaya and everyone going there pehle pattaya jao go into that walking street um indulge in some kind of water sports attend the convention then stay back in bangkok for two days shop like a maniac because everything is dirt cheap 
and go to the night uh, markets and um, I've hardly had any great food. I don't particularly enjoy the food there. But Phuket and Karabi, I think, are interesting places uh, where, again, in terms of locations, these used to be the unexplored locations where a lot of film shoots would take place and then suddenly all of India went there. And I think we are damn good at this, which is um, certain movies are shot in certain places and then we as Indians love to show our loyalty and love for our actors and we actually travel to those destinations. Film tourism actually has humongous scope. Um, it's something that uh, one of my friends explores um, as a business model and I find it so cool because uh, there is so much of uh, bright licensing that's required um, besides knowledge which really works and um, I'd love to try this location scouting art for a movie someday. Maybe in a few years, you just never know. Rituraj sir is here. Hi, sir. Lots of love to you. So we have to do an Insta live together. Okay. Say yes, please. <laughs> Shruti is here. Shruti and me are working on something very interesting in uh, Nautanki. And uh, Shruti has been doing a great job. She can actually talk about a lot of hotels. Uh, and destinations. Shruti, please share. You have been managing wet destinations. You know of all possible properties all across the world. So share some info on this. Um, but yeah, it's a good destination, Pooja. I do agree with you without doubt. Uh, but I still feel it's overexposed uh, to a great extent. And somehow I don't find it so exciting when, when one has... Um, been there, done that as, as a destination and as people. I tell you one thing that I have seen is the transition uh, of certain cities because I was very lucky that early in my career I had the opportunity to travel. Um, I think uh, in, in the first six months of having become an anchor, I had done my first international um, show. I had traveled to Hong Kong. It was a Diwali event for the Indian Association and I love Indian associations all across the world because they actually would spend on getting artists from India to make their Diwali a special one. So I have seen uh, Patya go through a phase where they would be excited when they saw Indian Indians because they knew we shop a lot. They knew we love massages and I'm talking about clean massage. The other ones, of course, were there, but uh, they, uh, we love drinking. Uh, we spend and that's always good for a country that's dependent on, on tourism as, as its major revenue. Uh, but I've seen their enthusiasm and zeal dip, dip, dip. Because when you get too much of something, you know, it's it's like your relation, right? You If you have too much of, of uh, you know, a friend on your face all the time, you're not going to, you're going to take that person for granted. So, so is the case where um, the excitement to meet and greet me as uh, as an Indian, I've seen that only diminish. And for me, it matters. To a lot of people, it doesn't matter. They are there, they do their business and they are out to meet matters. The look matters. The vibe that they give me matters. And uh, for wedding perspective, Puja, I don't find it too exciting. Uh, maybe uh, as, as a corporate space, it still might be exciting. Rituraj sir has given me a thumbs up. Yay, I'm going to do a live soon with him and uh, one sir is available. And thank you, sir, for uh, doing everything you have. And congratulations to you one more time for WV. And I still hope that uh, you will bring WV back to South because I really feel South of India needs to also have its due in, in our space where um everything tends to move you know uh, uh towards north i really hope that we're able to stick to our roots in in a special way uh puja very smart she's writing the most beautiful place is banaras because she belongs to banaras <laughs> well you have never invited us so we would never know uh it's very interesting guys how puja and me met up Mm, it was actually thanks, in a way, thanks to Rituraj sir. Uh, he had invited me for a convention called GDEC last year. And uh, Puja is um, a budding wedding planner. And I think recently she's won some award as well. And uh, well, she was like this nice, happy, bubbly person who came up to me. And I would have never forgotten because of the way she struck a connect and started talking. And we again uh, met up when she attended WOW and uh, I think a couple of times. So 
uh, I feel really good when I know that there are there is a wedding planning company based in Banaras. Um, I feel we as the Indian wedding fraternity uh, deserve that. Um, I I have never liked the idea that the focal point should be five six cities and every business should be governed by those cities. I have not never enjoyed that, especially for a country like India, and the kind of talent that we have. Uh, the kind of fire that we have you know the um the generations that are coming up we have so much of zeal that i feel everyone should get that opportunity and equal opportunity whether it's um television or whether it's movies or whether it's weddings or any other field that's connected to um the entertainment space i think an equal opportunity is just fair and it can only happen when you create those opportunities for yourself nobody is going to wait come to you while you wait for your turn you have to create that path and for me puja is one example of many that i see around who are trying to create that path and make a difference and they are not flocking to a bigger city because that for me is an easier way uh, the more challenging one is to be there but the longevity and the success that you will see is if you stick to your city and try to offer the best being in that city because then you also get business around that city so that's a huge opportunity which one must understand and every path is is going to take its own time you can't have a shortcut so uh there is no need for anyone to rush especially if you belong uh to a city which is not considered as one of the big ones um for me the amount of exposure that we have whether we are sitting in um, uh you know guwahati or you are in bhubaneswar or if you are in pune for me the opportunities are the same because my exposure is the same the number of people getting married is the same is just a question of time and how you create an entire buzz around the space and the profession that you are in um everything is required everywhere and everyone knows everything so <laughs> it's it's got its own pros and cons one must know how to use that to their advantage rituraj sir sending hearts back to you uh puja we are planning to do a mice in dubai soon woohoo good luck to you let me know if you need any help uh rituraj sir is writing paris oh yes i love i love i love your choice sir i had a great opportunity years back to travel to paris so um, it brings back some weird memories so uh, some of which i could not possibly share <laughs> on an insta live um but paris is special for many reasons and uh, i remember i'd gone there to host a convention for the first time and that was uh, uh where i was uh yeah i was co-hosting this with cyrus brocha for some reason <laughs> and there was kapil dev who was like the motivational speaker this is the phase when uh people had just got done with the thailand phase and if you had taken one sales person twice to thailand third time he wouldn't agree so you either took him to dubai or you went to europe if that person had done certain kind of business and well there were some people like me who were blessed who got to travel without reaching any target but because we spoke substance back then we did not have instagram we did not have the time to uh, hire stylists and keep posing for pictures and making reels we actually worked on the content um and and big shout out to roshan abbas who has guided me in lot many ways and um i take my uh, learnings from him my inspiration from him um a great indirect motivator in whatever i did and how i excelled and a big shout out to so many event managers who gave me feedback today i feel so many of us as wedding planners event managers we don't have the courage to give a feedback to an artist of how they can do well i did try giving a feedback to an anchor yesterday and it 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 really came back badly on me uh she bombarded me with extra information about herself she starts the conversation by introducing herself that i'm from ema and and uh does a reply back with a hi and then she says i'm an anchor and i was like so not fair um but i decided to be generous and give feedback on how she should have approached me 
And apparently feedback is not taken well by your generation today. <laughs> Back then, we had even managers who gave us feedback on how we anchored after every event. So that is how I would improve because I was so open to listening and improving. And it's, it doesn't take too long. I think the minute you're open to feedback, whether it's of your client or of uh, a family member or, or of your rival, you need not take in everything to shake your confidence, but you must be open to understanding what of this is relevant and how can I really work towards improving myself. That's when you get these opportunities like people like me got. I traveled to, um, um, I think about 35 uh, countries, uh, multiple cities within these countries to host shows. And uh, a lot, a lot of it comes from the fact that you're open to working and improving on your skills. Paris is fantastic. It has some amazing locations where you can do social events, where you can actually create proposal moments, where you can take a couple out for a sit down dinner experience, where you can take 300 people and show them um, a musical. Uh, you can take them to the outskirts. You can take them for vineyards. Um, there is so much that one can do. Great choice, sir. Let's promise ourselves, Rituraj sir, that you and me will do something there soon. Malumpada, we both are going there for a convention. That'll be tragic. I'd love to work there. <laughs> oh, God. But it is really important, guys. If you want to up your game, uh, location scouting, whether it is for a film shoot or for a destination wedding, Guys, um, check out this website called weddestinations.com where you have more than 1,000 hotels that are listed. You just need to access it for free. You don't have to even travel to all the locations and you know everything about each hotel. So really, that's really what it is. Um, waving back to everyone. Guys, keep writing to me and keep sending me what is your favorite destination. Sam is writing Como in Italy. You know, Sam, I have, I have always heard, I've seen pictures also of Como. I was about to go on a holiday with Hemant in the coming month uh, because we decided to, I wanted to go personally to Rome and, and relive some, uh, and Florence and relive some amazing holiday moments that I've spent with my dad, uh, who's no more, and my sister and my mom. And I wanted him to experience that. And he's like, you know what? Since we will go there, I want to go to Como. I want to experience that. Because all we know is that it did become a big hit for a lot of social events. Uh, I haven't personally been there. But what I see of the pictures, I think it's, it's a great hide away, uh, you know, for somebody who, who likes a bit of silence, for somebody who likes a bit of me time. That's the kind of location one should explore. It's picturesque to say the least. And I feel with that kind of background, even the most average looking couple can look like a hero and heroine. And if you see, that is the case, guys. Go back to watch so many of our Bollywood films. You will see the same actors. They look so okay when they've shot in Ramoji Film City where the set was created. Um, uh, and, and versus taking them to a fantastic location. And uh, why do they suddenly look better? Because honestly, the air is better. You will see your pictures also. You won't need filters. Now, when you take your pictures there, the, there is less pollution. The skies are much cleaner. Uh, that you can see the blue sky through the day. You can see the outline of a cloud, which you don't get to see in Mumbai. So when you travel, especially to Europe, where... Um, a lot of places in Europe where you still have, uh, uh, you know, the cycle, uh, the Eurail uh, being a preferred means of, uh, you know, transportation uh, and travel. Uh, I have seen the difference uh, that you can see it all around. It's all there, out there. Uh, but Como is exciting. If somebody wants to explore that, you must. I have a friend of mine who incidentally works for, uh, runs his own company now, was earlier working with Elle, who is in the space of finding locations for shoots, fashion shoots, for editorials, uh, when you have celebs and your top models who are shooting for certain brands, whether it's um, apparels or it's uh, footwear or it's uh, bags. 
and that's his job to find the best location and take a team there and work in the least budget you know i don't like it when planners get upset i'm sorry uh, I, a lot of my friends from this industry are going to be upset with me i don't like it when they get upset with a client when he says mere paas itna budget nahi hai i find it quite exciting because it just makes you use your brain thoda zyada and i have seen this i'm not talking about like bad budgets like very poor or low budgets but wanting the world at it but i feel even with a modest budget if played around well and smartly there are so many interesting things that you can do provided you take a good property um there are so many things that you can play around uh i have done that using the same property in three back to back weddings but used it in a different way so that my work doesn't look the same so kabhi kabhi mujhe maza aata hai that's why i like my friends job is job is to find locations and complete a shoot within a certain time frame in the best possible budgets and uh, that calls for a lot of smart working you know and a lot of r and d um but yeah that's really what it is Pooja is writing about a convention that she did in Patia. That's really good. Pooja, keep up the great work, and uh, make sure that we have more and more people coming to Banaras Yar to enjoy a little bit of uh, your space, your city, and do some social work over there as well. Waving back to so many more people, guys. Any other last final location suggestions, either for a shoot or for a wedding, or for a pre-wedding shoot, for all you care. But like I said. uh for me in our course we do teach uh, destination uh, management work uh, we have had some of the best companies uh take these sessions for us where we have taught them the nuances on pricing on shifts on contracting on uh commitments and how it works internationally versus how it works in in cities across india so destination management companies for me in the space of weddings can play a very very vital role provided we as planners and as clients decide to value what they give us because i feel sometimes they just taken for granted where a lot of free information is taken from them and business is not given to them and i don't think that's professional and that's not a fair way to go about it So I guess as an Indian I just hope that we valued uh knowledge and information and decided to pay a price for it because it calls for a price. <laughs> it is not so easy. It is a lot of experiences that add up to my knowledge. It's not just a Google search. So yeah, I think that is something that I would really wish for. And uh, for those of us who are equally inspired, we must uh pick a leaf from uh you know several movies. and go back and do a google search on where this particular scene in this movie was shot and try to take these screenshots and make your own bank of amazing locations so next time your bride and groom are going to ask you do you have a suggestions because i'm kind of done with le and ladakh and como and dubai and i want to go to a new location to shoot my pre wedding then you have the options right there with you because guess what you worked hard it was not google it was your knowledge because you decided to decode a movie scene and find out where on earth did they go to create that moment and that scene um pooja riding you absolutely an amazing person and of course inspiration to many i'm 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 going to assume that 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 goes out to so many people who are uh you know constantly there guiding uh, the next gen uh people like uh, uh rituraj and so many others that i know who are always there available at a beck and call shagun is here one of my favorite students um i hope married life is treating you well and i hope you've not stopped working i'll be very 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 upset with you if that's the case <laughs> and um i hope you are doing really well as long as you are happy uh and working <laughs> that is something that i'd really hope for Jay is your Jay. Please tell me you love my new hair color. Ooh ooh, I love it too. I have intentionally put this color. The light is not falling right. Otherwise, it's far more darker and deeper than it's looking here. It's to it's to keep all the unnecessary people uh, away, and it's it's only to attract people who are aggressive, passionate, mad like me. And it's also to let people know that that's me. 
सो बहुत फायदे है हैविंग एक्सपेरिमेंटेड विद दिस हालांकि वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स इज यू नो इंसिस्टिंग दैट आई यूज दोज फेक एक्सटेंशन दैट हैव कम इन रेड्स ब्लूज एंड पर्पल्स नाउ जय टेल मी विच इज योर बेस्ट डेस्टिनेशन दैट यू प्रोबेबली बिन डूइंग सो मच ऑफ वर्क यू नो दैट इट वुड रियली हेल्प फॉर अस टू नो वॉट यू लाइक Kamna is writing Prague. I love Prague. I love Prague like to the hilt. Um, Prague for me was a place where again I went for a holiday. Um, yes, it was a holiday. Yeah, and and for me it became like this place where I thought that now I'm going to explore the city, and then I realized that hey, Prague is over. So um, too much of character. Too much of character. It allows you your space to live and breathe in your own little way. Uh, I think it's a place where we as Indians have not explored it much. Uh, on holidays, we may have, but as a destination, we haven't um, uh, uh, kept our mind open to it. I think it deserves a lot more footfalls from our country than it already is getting. Um, I really want to explore Baku. I have had a great opportunity of working in Baku and exploring it. And how um, we've taken about three fifty guests, was it? Yeah, from uh, mostly from uh, Dubai and uh, Mumbai, and um, done a social event there, a three days celebration with just one recce. Um, and uh, the client was very clear. एक recce पे जाएंगे उसमें जो समझना है समझ लो. And uh, again, I didn't want to argue with him, uh, and I wanted to show my ability that I don't need to come multiple times to a place in order to be able to do a great job. Uh, we had a great DMC there, uh, her, and uh, I was very clear that uh, we go fully prepared. So you're pre-prep, just like a shoot. You cannot go to a location anymore and then decide what you want to shoot for the day. It's all well scheduled, chalked out from. start to the end in most of the films similarly it goes with rekis you got to plan it so meticulously so that you're making the most of that particular time i hate people who are boarding a flight and making a schedule for the rekhi i just i i just don't understand why why is done so wrongly um baku is a place that i have found um is uh, got the best of both worlds it has its old city charm and it has a very modern take it has very good looking people <laughs> and food that is absolutely uh, easy uh, to consume especially if you are a fussy eater like me uh, it had a crazy night club that we went to which is unfortunately shut down but i think by far the craziest night i have enjoyed with my team ever in the 11 12 years of swaha has been this one night out in baku ooh I am so excited I would love to go back. Noshir is here as well. Hi Noshir. I was talking about different locations, destinations where one can go for possibly um shooting a pre-wedding or doing a wedding or for a movie because we are drawing parallels between movie making and planning a wedding and uh, uh Noshir you would know this that today weddings is like making a movie. uh it is for the public it is to make the movie a super hit it is effort by so many people right from a costume designer uh you know you have a stylist on both sides you have the makeup team on both sides you have photographers cinematographers from movies now who are uh, shooting for uh, us at weddings and capturing our beautiful moments that's really guys how all videos end up looking like movies today because the team that's making movies is the team that's today covering and and shooting and working with photo video teams so a lot of it is outsourced uh, they are freelancers who especially brought in for um, high profile and and not just high profile i'd say for the affluent class weddings where they insist that i want a candid moment and i want to be captured in a certain way and i want to look like a movie star you can't just look like a movie star because you are wearing uh, a so called manish malhotra lenga there has to be the right makeup artist who has possibly worked in movies before there has to be a cinematographer who understands how to cover it 360 and of course 
there has to be a lot of rehearsal and back and forth for those perfect shots to come through so there is a lot of parallels there love you Nashir and uh, I hope to see you guys soon I, I still miss the time we spent at uh, Kali Cottage and I'm hoping that that's going to happen very soon when you guys come in for wow you guys have to come in please 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 and of course uh, hopefully going to catch up with you if we happen to be on your side of the world um guys that's it from me for now love you all and uh, stay connected and next week we'll explore another parallel between movies and weddings but until then enjoy uh, the rest of the week i'm not going to say happy weekend you still have one day to go and i'll see you next thursday uh and hopefully um together we soon make uh, miracles and create amazing amazing weddings throughout the year and for those of you who are still waiting to decide how to go about it you need to reach out to our team at TWS just DM us and we'll send you details and that's how you get started on your journey into the space of weddings see you guys have a good time bye bye